Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today we're going to do two things. I have a new Kasori slow cooker to try out. And also I'm going to cook some Dr. Pepper chicken legs. So let's take a look at the slow cooker and then we'll get kicking on the chicken. So someone at the Kasori company saw one of my crock pot videos and they contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try out one of their new slow cookers. So I just pulled this out of the box. This is a six and a half quart slow cooker. Um, everything looks pretty nice, uh, pretty heavy duty. This has a rubber gasket on it. I've never seen that on a slow cooker be before. So hopefully that'll be good. And this one is uh, digital. My other one just had the knob high, low, and warm. This one actually has high, low, and also has a medium setting. And like I said, this one's digital, and the kind of the cool thing about this is has a timer, so once you set the timer for say, just say you set it for five hours when your food is done, it will click off and automatically go to the warm setting. So that way, you know, if you get delayed, um, you know your food's not turning to mush while you're <laughs> while you're gone and you, if you can't get home on time. So that is a good feature right there I think. Um, I was hoping that this would have a longer cord than my other slow cooker but it doesn't. See my plug is right there and it won't reach so I just have to use one of these uh, power outlet deals or an extension cord which I don't really like but same as my other one so I won't hold it against them. Um, okay let me get my uh, chicken ingredients in there and then I'll we'll set this up and see how it works. This Dr. Pepper chicken is a pretty simple recipe. I've never done it before. I had a viewer suggest that I do it. I can't remember who it was though, so I apologize for forgetting your name, but um, basically I'm using chicken legs, just a big tray of them, so probably a dozen chicken legs, and I pulled the skin off of mine. You don't have to do that, but I really don't like the skin on the chicken in the crock pot that much. So this recipe, I actually uh, saw this recipe on the Alaska Granny channel. So I'm kind of borrowing her recipe, but she said use equal parts of ketchup. So I'm adding in one cup of ketchup and then barbecue sauce. And it just so happens that I have Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. So. We'll add in one cup of this Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. And last, one cup of actual Dr. Pepper soda. And it's fizzing away there. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna mix this up with my hand because, well, it's the easiest way to do it. This smells good already. I was looking at my sauce. It's not barbecue sauce. It's anytime sauce. Stubbs Dr. Pepper anytime sauce. So let's see if we can get this crock pot going here. Oops, I mean slow cooker, sorry. Um, plug it in. Okay, it beeped. I guess that means it's working. Let's see here how you do this. I'm gonna cook this on high. Okay, wait a minute cook mode. Okay, high. So it goes to six hours. I don't want to cook it for six hours, so cook time. Okay, it keeps going up. Seven, eight. Alright, it goes to ten hours and then it starts over. Now it's at 30 minutes. I'm going to try cooking this for three minutes. We'll try, or not three minutes, three hours. We'll try three hours on high and see how do you start it um, I guess that's it three hours and it's on high okay cool we'll be back in three hours and see how it's doing this chicken smells great it looks like we have 44 minutes left to go. One thing I will say is that this display is not very bright. It's kind of hard to see. We're down to one minute, so let's see if it shuts off and clicks over to warm like it's supposed to. It 
It looks like it just shut off. So I guess when it's on warm, it just flashes like that. There we go, it just reset itself. There it says six minutes and warm. So just takes a minute. It flashes for a minute before it switches to warm. But it did work, it looks like. It's been on warm for about 15 minutes. Let's open it up and see how it looks. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good. See it falling off the bone there. Let me grab a plate and we'll try it out. I'll let this cool down a little bit. Let's try it out. Should be just falling off the bone tender. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, this is really good. I like this. Well, that was fun and the chicken turned out good. I think I'll make some rice to go with it. That juice is kind of sweet that's in the pot. I think it'd go good over some rice, so I think I'll do that. But as far as the slow cooker, it did everything it was supposed to. It cooked the food well. It shut off like it was supposed to, so I really can't see anything bad about it. I'll be using it in more of my videos now, so... Uh, if there's anything I come across that I really don't like, the more I use it, I'll probably notice that. For, but for now, I thought it was good. I'll put the link in the description if anybody wants to take a look at that one. I think it sells for about $70. Um, anyway, if you like the video, please like, please share, please subscribe, and tell your friends where they can find easy cooking ideas. See you guys.